The book of Revelation has many references to the beast. What or who is the beast? What does it do? What does God tell us to do about the beast? Revelation 13 verse 1 to 8 is one of the most descriptive about the one called the beast. Then I thought John, stood on the sand of the sea. And I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns, and on his heads a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard, his feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, and great authority. And I saw one of the heads as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world marveled and followed the beast. So they worshipped the dragon who gave authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And he, the beast, was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and he was given authority to continue for forty-two months. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, Revelation 13 verse 1 to 8. Understanding the Symbolism of the Beast To understand this passage of scripture, we need to understand the symbolism. A fundamental principle of Bible study is to let the Bible interpret itself, 2 Peter 1 verse 20 and 21. In other words, look to other sections of scripture or to the context itself in order to understand the meaning. The symbol of beasts representing civil governments is also found in the book of Daniel. The prophet Daniel received a vision from God of four great beasts, the first like a lion with eagle's wings, the second like a bear, the third like a leopard, and the fourth, different and more terrible than the others, with ten horns, Daniel 7 verse 1 to 7. Daniel was told that these great beasts were symbolic of four kings, kingdoms, verse 17. History reveals that the beasts of Daniel were four great empires, the Babylonian, Medo-Persian, Greco-Macedonian, and Roman empires. The Nature of the Beast One of the characteristics of the beast in the book of Revelation is its hostility against God and the people of God. In Revelation 11 verse 7 John was told that, when they, the two witnesses representing God, finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overpower them, and kill them. In Revelation 13 verse 7 we read that this beast will make war with the saints and overcome them. This beast will have the power to kill those who do not do its bidding, verse 15, and will blaspheme God, verse 6. The Dragon and the Future Beast in the book of Revelation we find that the beast's agenda corresponds to that of the dragon. The dragon is Satan the devil, the deceiver of the whole world, Revelation 12 verse 9, and the beast in Revelation 13 verse 1 to 7 carries out this deception. John implies that the healing of the beast's mortal wound is itself a deception, producing amazement by the whole world, verse 3, and leading people on earth to worship both the dragon and the beast, verse 4. The future beast's authority prevails on earth for 42 months, and by the end of that time all the inhabitants of the earth will worship it, verses 5 and 8, compare with Revelation 11 verse 2. It is clear that the prophecies regarding the beast also apply to a future personality who will have great civil, financial and religious power at the time of the end. The dragon's goal of persecuting Christians, Revelation 12 verse 17, is also evident. The beast opens his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven, Revelation 13 verse 5 to 6. 
The actual persecution of Christians is mentioned explicitly in verse 7, but persecution is also clearly implied by the prophetic appeal to John's readers in verse 10, which speaks of saints being led into captivity and being killed with the sword. This calls for patient endurance and faithfulness on the part of Christians. The book of Revelation is most emphatically not a call to arms, but a call for patient endurance and faithfulness on the part of God's people. The beast and false prophet and religious deception. Christ warned his disciples in the Olivet Prophecy, for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect, Matthew 24 verse 24. So, it is very important to heed the warning of Christ and be aware of the coming beast and false prophet of Revelation. One of the strongest warnings in the Bible is given to people who worship this future beast. This warning includes the threat of receiving God's wrath. If anyone worships the beast and his image, and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation, Revelation 14 verse 9 to 10. If we worship the beast and receive his mark, we will receive the wrath of God. So it is very important to understand the warnings about the beast so that when he appears, we can avoid being deceived into worshiping him. Mark of the beast and the number of the beast, 666. This end-time empire will require people to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads in order to buy or sell, Revelation 13 verse 16 to 17. This mark of the beast and the number of the beast, verse 18, are explained in our articles, Mark of the Beast and 666, the number of the beast. To find out who is the beast of Revelation 17, see our article, Revelation 17. See also our articles, Daniel 7 and Antichrist, for more about the end-time civil authority and the false religious leader who will work together to govern and deceive mankind. The Fall of Babylon the Great and the Beast Although the beast's economic system will bring prosperity to the merchants of the earth, it is going to be destroyed, Revelation 18 verse 3, 15, 19. The people of God will be pleased to see the fall of Babylon the Great and the Beast. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. Verse 20. This civil power called the beast and this false religious power have worked together to persecute God's people throughout the ages, but they will both come to an end, Revelation 19 verse 20. Thank you for watching the video. Like share and subscribe. Comment your opinion.